that's actually a little jolt effect that comes from something that's called hitting. So hitting is actually just a quick tense and relax of the muscles. It's not snapping. It doesn't actually involve the joints. You want it to involve only the muscle groups. So the first one that we're going to start with is actually in the arms. So what I want you guys to do as a little warm up, put your arms out right in front of you. Then you're going to tense your muscles and you're going to hold it for four counts. Two, three, four, then relax. Two, three, four, tense. Two, three, four, relax. Two, three, four, tense. Two, three, four, relax. And you can actually repeat that at four counts as much as you want. So then the next step, we're going to go in the front again, and we're going to tense for two counts, relax for two. So tense, two, relax, two, tense, two, relax, two, tense, two, relax, two, tense, two, relax. And again, we're going to break it down further and just tense and relax for one count. So we're just going to go tense, relax, tense, relax, tense, relax, tense, relax, tense, relax, tense, relax. An important note, when you're tensing your arms, when you have them extended out, if you notice, when I tense, my elbows are actually going out a bit. You don't want them to come in and hyperextend, otherwise you're going to do some ligament damage and you're going to hurt your elbows. So to keep that from happening, when you tense, let your elbows go out a little bit. So if you want to work on like bending your elbows a little bit like this, and then give it a little tense as you do that, that'll actually be better. Okay, so as we continue on, now we want to tense and relax in a real quick time. So in the space that you can say the word hit. So if we just bring our arms back up, and we'll go hit, 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 and you continue at that pace. So as we keep hitting, to continue our warm up, we're gonna move our arms out as we're hitting. Hit, 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 and up. Hit, 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 and down. Hit all the way down. So what this helps you do is as you're hitting, you're building a muscle memory in all these positions. So as we go further on and we learn about angles, you'll see how that comes into play. So that's hitting for the arms. Now in terms of the arms, you can focus on your forearms, your biceps, and your triceps. You're not actually focusing on the shoulder. You're not dropping them like that. Your shoulder actually just supports the weight of your arm to lift it up. So you want to make sure that your muscles are completely relaxed when you bring up your arm. So actually practice that real quick. Go ahead and bring your arms down to the sides. And then lift them up, almost like someone has a hold of your wrist and they just lift it up. So that if they drop it, it would go right back down. So you just lift up, make sure those muscles are nice and loose in your arm, both arms. And when it's good, then you'll know you can get the full range of the tense and the full range of the lats. If you try to actually do that and you're lifting your arms and you're kind of tense, then you'll end up like this. You'll just get a little bit of a shake, but you won't get that full hit effect. Okay? So next we're going to go on, we're going to actually tense the chest. So a lot of people say, well, mostly guys can do that. Well, women can do it also, so don't be afraid of it. Okay, it actually involves the pectoral muscles. That's the muscle that really goes from your armpit down to your chest, okay? So to activate that, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and put your hands in at your hips and just try to squeeze your shoulders inwards, like directly inwards towards each other. And you'll feel that squeeze right in here. And then relax, tense, relax, tense, relax, tense, relax, tense, relax. Good. So now, Go ahead and try that again, tensing and relaxing going in, but as you do it, relax your hands so that you're not pushing your hands into your hips, and let them relax. And as you let them relax, you'll see, you'll actually start hitting here in the chest, okay? So if we check that from the side, again, we're here, boom, we're tensing, relaxing, boom, boom, boom. You can see the muscles right in there. And don't worry if you don't have a big chest. Over time, you'll actually develop. When I first started, I could barely do this. And with time, you know, the muscles get stronger, they get more used to the movement, and it gets better. So now we have this tensing here in the chest area. And we also have tensing in the arms. So now, if you're ready for it, you can go ahead and put your arms out here and try to tense your chest muscles right here, 
and your arms at the same time. So you're hit, 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 hit. So that's basic hits for the arms and for the chest. So now we're going to go on to the legs. That will give you a more powerful hit. Okay, so now we're going to hit the legs. So in order to do that, just a quick warning. Um, you want to actually avoid, again, moving from the joints at your knees because you will, again, tear some ligaments, do damage, and you want to avoid that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start one side and then the other. So we'll start on the left, or the right if you wish. It doesn't really matter that much. And you're going to actually lean your weight over that foot. So right now I'm leaning over my left foot, and when I do that, my knee bends slightly. And the same as our arm hits and chest hits, you want to actually tense the muscles and relax. Tense, relax, tense, relax. And you can go to the other side. And again, your knees bent. Tense, relax, tense, relax. So from the side, you'll see this. If I lean, my knee bends, and then I tense. But if you notice, you can see through my jeans, if I were actually pulling my leg back, you'd see it sticking back here, all right? You actually want your leg to come back to straight or even still be slightly bent. So when you lean to the side and you tense, your knee should actually still be a little bit bent. So you'll actually get a more powerful hit and it'll ensure that you're not doing any damage to your legs. So again, if we go to the left, we'll tense, relax, tense, relax, tense, relax. Now the muscle groups you're concentrating on, your calf muscles, you also have your thighs, so your quads and hamstrings, and you also have your glute muscles, so your butt muscles, okay? You actually want to tense all those and relax. On the other side, it's the same. And then when you have them together, if you're facing front, boom, boom. So when you have them together, still remember that you want them to only come to straight, or even slightly bent, and not locking. So when your knees lock, then you're putting a little extra strain on them. Okay, so that's leg hits, and now we're gonna go on to the next lesson.